Good morning. Welcome to 7 for 7. Let's go to the throne. Dear Lord, we come and we humbly submit ourselves to you and we just ask, God, that you take control of our life. Lord, I'm praying that you speak to the lives. I'm praying, God, that you open our ears. I'm praying, God, that we draw ever closer to you. And Lord, that we thank you in advance for the blessing, guidance, and direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning, you know, about a full life. You know, uh, in James 4.14, it says, Whereas ye know, what shall be on tomorrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little while and then vanisheth away. You know, that just brings me to mind to thinking about, you know, when you go to a cemetery, you see tombstones, headstones, and um, you see the date that someone was born and you see the date that they were that they died. And you see sometimes a, a memorable quote or a statement, definitely the family name or a name. Um, but what is life? And I want you to think about that. What is life? It's more than the date you were born and the date that you die. You know, in 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 a sad reality for many people, life is just the dash in between the dates. They're not living, they're just existing. So I want you to think about, you know, a captious life, a full full life. I want you to think about choosing this day whom you will serve, choosing how you will live, choosing your perspective because your perspective will make the difference. And I want you to choose not to live in the negative lane, but not to live in average, not to live just a normal life. Because as I look at a lot of people, um, a full life can be different things. Some people equate full life with stuff. When I think about stuff, or water has stuff, right? You know, uh, sometimes it's good stuff, sometimes it's bad stuff, but it's stuff that, you know, you know they can't even enjoy. They can't, they just got stuff all around them, right? Matter of fact, they don't know how much stuff they got or what's what. They just got stuff. I remember seeing a show, you know, the, the, someone was wanting to buy a home and a woman who was a hoarder, she, she just had to empty the house. And when they came to inspect the house, she says, yeah, come on in. And they had hoped that she'd emptied out the house of the stuff. She couldn't. Matter of fact, she just added more stuff to the stuff. And for many of us, that's what life has been. It's just full of stuff. And it's so full of stuff, we can't navigate or we've lost our perspective. God doesn't want us to live in a place of a lost perspective. And then there are those, on the other hand, who... Who, who 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 the stuff just means I got all the best stuff, all the good stuff, if you will. And, you know, that stuff may help, but that stuff doesn't bring you joy. That stuff doesn't let you allow uh, to have it, a good life. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Christ came that we might have life, and that life more abundantly. Right? See, we need to understand that, 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 that for us to really begin to have the full life, we need to um, give ourselves to the Lord. Let me ask you, see, the question is, what is life? And if the answer is the way you look at the answer, you know, depends upon what you're talking about. See, God's principle work 
And, and I want you to choose that you're going to live off of the principles of God and to know that if you begin to really put God first, if you really begin to, you know what? What's the first thing you do in the morning? The very first thing. Okay, you go to the bathroom. What's the first thought on your mind? Is it to pray? Is it thank you, Lord? Some of us need, you know, you love the Lord. Some of us need to put our, give ourselves a reminder to just simply say, thank you, Lord. And, 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 and to begin to lift our hearts up and to say, God, what is it that you have for me today, Lord? You know, um, give your life to the Lord. Present your body a living sacrifice. Allow your mind to be renewed by the word. Allow God to transform your life by the renewing of your mind. Present yourself a living sacrifice. Choose that you're not just going to be someone that says, I'm saved and I'm going to heaven. Praise the Lord. That's what we all want. We want to go to heaven and we don't want to go to hell. But, but choose to say that I'm going to live the good life today. I'm going to take a stance to live for him today. I'm going to take a stance to be what? The living word, the, 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 the living epistle, a living Bible, right? Fill yourself up with the word, but fill yourself up with what? The expectation. See, Abraham, he had a promise for God, from God. And as Abraham had a promise for God, he got frustrated along the way. And some of the, and he had stuff. He had servants, he had people. But, but though he had the promise from God, he lost hope along the way. And then out of desperation, he tried to do other things to fulfill himself, right? He went to Egypt when he shouldn't have went to Egypt. He, he laid down with Hagar, which he wouldn't have had had he not gone to Egypt, trying to fulfill himself, right? Yeah, he was trying to fulfill his flesh. He was trying to fulfill his destiny. I mean, this, this was a young girl. He was an old man. And uh, it wasn't just his plan, but, but he was trying to fulfill himself. But it wasn't until he got to the place that he could surrender it all to God. And he had to give himself back over to God. He had to give his hopes, his dreams over to God. And I'm telling you, believe again. I'm telling you, trust God again. I'm telling you, God is going to bring you out. I'm telling you, stay in the place of hope. Stay in the place of blessing. Amen. Stay in the place and let God be glorified in your life. Let God's hand be upon your life. Choose to stay in that positive lane. Choose to move forward. God loves you today and he's bringing you out. Well, I'll see you next time. We're seven. We're seven. Be blessed.